According to the Oxford English Dictionary, the word snapshot was originally a hunting term. Academy Award winner Robin Williams. One hour photo. Welcome back to the 11th annual Halloween special. I'm very excited to be talking about a film tonight that I consider to be one of the most underrated of all time, One Hour Photo, written and directed by Mark Romanek and starring Robin Williams in one of his greatest performances. The film's about a photo store clerk named Cy, played by Williams, who always develops the photos of a family that comes into the store. Cy's personal life is not the greatest, and as he develops this family's photos, he becomes attached to them, as if he's one of their family members. And his obsession with the family takes a very dark turn when he uncovers something about the husband. I first saw One Hour Photo on TV back in the day, probably around 2004 or 2005, and I was extremely inspired by it. I watched it over and over again. Jeffrey Ford's edit and Jeff Cronenweth's cinematography both work in tandem to create an almost subliminal sense of hypnosis. That's a really fancy way for me to say that I fucking love the way this movie looks and flows. It reminds me very much of Stanley Kubrick, which is why it was no surprise to me that for a long time Mark Romanek was attached to a movie called The Overlook Hotel, but I can imagine that after the release of Dr. Sleep, that probably isn't happening anymore. Cy, as played by Robin Williams, can be read in many different ways. He can be a certain kind of creep or another kind of creep. There are so many things that you could assume he is because the movie takes a long time to reveal what his motivations are. During the first act, it's revealed that not only does he give special gifts to Jake when that's not company policy, but he also makes doubles of every single photo they develop there so he can take them home for himself, creating a chilling collage in his living room. Their family photos are even in his bedroom. In every way, he has placed himself inside of this family. He's developed their photos since their kid was born. He feels like he knows everything about them, and yet they know zero about him. It's a genius idea, and one that I'm really shocked it took all the way up until 2002 to release, because that was just on the edge of where a movie about a one-hour photo developer might start to push the realms of believability because digital was becoming very popular. And the film even acknowledges that in a scene where Cy playfully begs them to not buy a digital camera because he'd be out of a job. One Hour Photo really did kind of sneak in there at the last minute when it comes to movies that are about photo developers or tension around photos. You have films like Blow Up that came out in the 60s. 2002 was really pushing it for when a movie like this could get made, and I imagine that Mark Romanek was probably thinking, we gotta get this thing going, otherwise no one's gonna believe this movie anymore. Something that I love about Robin Williams' performance in this movie, which is Oscar-worthy, it was a crime that he wasn't nominated, is that he takes a lot of time to respond to questions. You can tell that there's a bit of a delay when someone asks him something. He has to think about how to respond. Sure I can't get you no more coffee then? Oh, no, I'm fine, thanks. Have a nice night now. You too. It's like he's trying to choose what a normal person would say, and he's not sure of how to do that all the time. But what's interesting is that when it comes to anger or rage, he's very fast to respond. In an early argument with someone who believes that he didn't have to fix the photo machine that Sai believes is off calibration just a little bit, an argument ensues, and that comes very easy for him. And the same for some conversations with his boss. And in just these small choices, you learn a lot about Sai because the movie holds back quite a bit in regards to character development. We observe him make choices, and those choices inform the character. But aside from the occasional voiceover, his character is kept mostly at bay from us until the final scene. And because of those decisions with the performance, we learn that as a child, he was probably surrounded by a lot of anger and violence and resentment and neglect, a lot of negative emotions. Those come easy for him. But casual, pleasant conversations with people, you can see that his brain has to work a little harder to do that. This film also has a moment that has always haunted me, and it just goes to show you what truly scares me in movies. It's rarely the things you might expect, because there's a scene early on in the film where the young boy is talking about how he thinks that Sai doesn't have a good life, and he feels really sorry for him. And the mother decides that if they close their eyes and send Sai some good thoughts, that maybe his life will turn out better. And when they do this, 
we just see Sai standing alone in his apartment, doing nothing, with no one, completely alone. I can't even begin to describe how many implications are present in this small scene. The idea of a child being comforted by their mother by saying, if you just do this nice thing, maybe somebody else will have a better life. And we see that that is absolutely not happening. So not only is this mother's comfort completely unwarranted, but we see that Sai has nothing. And I find that really scary. Something else I really want to pinpoint here is all the photographs that are present in the movie. I can only imagine that it was a nightmare to collect all of these photographs, especially for the prop department. But what's great about them is that they all look very real. Family photos in movies are often highly photoshopped. You see pasted heads everywhere. It's an epidemic. It's one that we as an audience have almost just accepted at this point. We often see photos on mantelpieces in movies, and we know for a fact that those are pasted heads on bodies that are not those actors, and we just accept it because we understand that getting all of those actors in a big family photo is probably expensive. But the photographs in this film look like real photos, and in fact, some of them really were. There's a sequence in the movie where Sai talks about all of his regular customers, and one of them is a woman who only takes pictures of her cat. All of the photographs of the cats were of the crew's pets, which would make them look very authentic. But also, sidestep any issues with having to hire a cat to pose for photos that would end up looking kind of fake. And of course, I love that the boy wants to get a Neon Genesis Evangelion action figure. Apparently, Robin Williams was a massive fan of the show. And I just wanna let you know that if you've never seen this movie, I am gonna get into some very specific spoilers. I know that for the Halloween special, a lot of these movies are 20 years old or, or even more so at this point. And it's kinda of like, I don't necessarily have to always say that there's gonna be spoilers, but I'm gonna talk about some very specific things and I really would love you guys to see this movie. But the ultimate emotion that I feel while watching the movie is heartbreak. It's extremely sad. When Sai is fired, it's almost tragic. You can see how this job and this small connection it gives him to this family is really all he has going for him in life. And that puts him in just the right place where just one more nudge will push him in the wrong direction. And that nudge comes in the form of discovering that the husband of this family is a cheater because he just so happens to develop photos from the person that he's cheating with. This is such a great twist on the idea of, I saw your man with another woman when I was at the mall, and here it's being used in such an effective way to push this character to do things that he may never have done before. And after he plants those photos of the husband cheating inside the wife's photos so that she will discover them, and he follows them home and spies on them and sees that she's not reacting, she's not saying anything about it, his next line is the most revealing in the movie. <laughs> We have now been presented with someone who could easily be looked at as a complete psychopath. And yet he looks at these people and says, what the hell is wrong with them? Because in his mind, all he wanted in life and never got was a happy family life. And they have one and they're ruining it. And he just cannot comprehend why. And that is fascinating that he does not view himself as the monster that someone else would. Now, when it comes to nightmares in movies, there are plenty that have been very effective. The nightmare sequence in one hour photo is easily the scariest I've ever seen. I don't know if this is confirmed or not, but what's spraying out of his eyes during the dream sequence doesn't look like blood. It almost looks like the liquid that's used to develop film. If that's the case, I'm that is just so, so fucking cool. The finale is riveting, and his way of getting into their hotel room is completely believable. As already discussed, the camera work throughout the movie is brilliant. But this entire sequence near the end as he tries to run away from the cops is truly beautiful. Right down to one of the final shots in the movie where Sai is sitting in the interrogation room and he looks at his reflection in the two-way mirror and it looks as if he's sitting in a photograph. I said it at the start but it bears repeating. I really do think that One Hour Photo is one of the most underrated movies ever. A lot of people know what this movie is. It's got a massive star in it but I just don't hear people talking about it ever. And I do think that it is absolutely worth revisiting if you've seen it before and it's a long time ago or if you've never seen it. 
I don't know why more people don't love this movie. I think it's absolutely fantastic, and I am dying for more movies from Mark Romanek. Please direct more, sir. Guys, thank you so much for continuing to watch the 11th annual Halloween special. Look forward to more videos very soon, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.